<laughs> that, I don't know how that happened. That it is. That it is. Uh, I want to take this call here. This is this is Howie in New York. Hey, Howie. Good morning. Hey, Jim. Hey, Dave. Hey, Vinny. So Howie is the uh, I guess the warden of the Spring Nuts. Ah. So uh, oh, yeah. Howie is checking in with us this morning. Does that mean you issue tickets or arrest people, or what does the warden mean exactly? No, I just uh, man asylum. He keeps the asylum in line, <laughs> or something to that effect. Uh, but Howie's here yeah. this morning calling in because he's got some news that he wants to talk about and share with the the E Street Nation. So, Howie, it's all yours. Thanks, bud. Um, <clears throat> I know it's a bit early, um, but I know many of your listeners and uh, group members have been about the you know the dates of our next event, uh, our next serenade, uh, the Spring Nut Seaside Serenade Four. Um, like you know, many need the time to make the necessary arrangements from now, so they can put in their vacation time to get the weekend off. And just to give you a little backstory, originally we were sort of holding out a bit. You know, we were waiting to hear an announcement from Bruce about the upcoming tour as far as the dates and the locations. And, you know, Julie, Amy, and I, you know, spoke about it. And we weren't sure what to do. But ultimately, um, Jim, I just went, I went back to something you told me early in the year, which, you know, stuck with me and it meant a lot to me. It was at the, the Blinded by the Light premiere in New York City. And it was right before our third serenade, and I mentioned to you um, how I was, I was on the fence about doing it this year, because at the time we weren't sure if Bruce would tour and, you know, if it would conflict with the serenade dates. And I remember you telling me, Howie, the serenade has to happen every year. It's a thing now. You know, the numbers won't matter. The serenade is something that people really look forward to. And listen, you just have to do it. Now, I don't know if you guys, you know, you know are fans of Rocky Balboa, but... You know, after, you know, in Rocky Two, you know, after hearing you talk, you know, say that to me, you know, it reminded me like when Adrian was in the hospital and he went over and pulled Rocky in and said, win. <laughs> and, you know, then the dongs of the Philadelphia yep. bells went off in my head and, and I'm hearing Mickey saying, like, what the <laughs> hell are we waiting for? for? <laughs> so, you know, we went full steam ahead with the third serenade and uh, we turned out to be our best and, you know, most successful. We raised over $9,000 for all the charities. And, you know, so we figured that we may not know what Bruce's tour plans are, but whenever it happens, it can only add to the happiness. So anyway, uh, today I'm proud to announce um, the dates for the Spring Nuts Seaside Serenade 4, uh, what we like to call S4. Um, S4 weekend will be on Friday, May 1st through Sunday, May 3rd, the first weekend in May. Uh, once again, taking place in the land of hope and dreams, Asbury Park, New Jersey. Um, we will have round-the-clock activities throughout the weekend, as we always do, um, you know, with the details to be updated as the day grows closer. But, you know, what I can tell you is that S4 is shaping up to be, you know, just as epic as the first three. The main event will be Sunday, May 3rd at the Stone Pony from 12 to 7 p.m., and the tickets will go on sale at the end of December. Uh, most importantly, as always, um, a portion of all the ticket sales will be donated to our various charities. One of them, as you mentioned before, we will once again be partnering up with White Hunger. Um, but this year, I'm proud to announce that we will be adding another important charity to the mix. This year, a portion of those ticket sales will also be going to the Kristen Ann Car Fund. So I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that and i wanted to thank you know you jim dave and vinnie for allowing me to announce it on the show for all the support you have given the spring nuts you know group over the years uh you know speaking for the group and myself personally i know i just can't tell you how much it means to me and the group and i i greatly appreciate it i know there's a lot of things coming up in 2020 god willing and it's a great time to be a springsteen fan well it's always a great time to be a springsteen fan but you know this uh, should be a really fun year. Well, just something, I mean, thank you immensely. And Barbara will be, I hope Barbara's listening, but even if she's not. By the way, May 2nd, which is the middle of your dates, is Barbara's birthday. Mm -hmm. Should be 12. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, Everything and, uh, is every line. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. You know, people do so much great I stuff for us. It's, uh, and for Chris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Howie, as we get well, close, as we get closer to the dates, and you have more ideas of when, you know, an, an idea of when the tickets are going to go on sale, and and you know the events, you know, we'll, we'll keep in touch, and we'll keep uh, we'll keep the ball uh, moving towards the uh, 
towards that weekend. Absolutely. And again, I greatly appreciate everything you guys do. You know, I always say that, you know, your show is a bridge to, you know, you know, my group and, you know, we do the same things. We're making those connections and, you know, friendships through Bruce's music and through what you guys do. So, you know, it's, it's really our pleasure and uh, can't thank you enough for everything you do for us. All right, Howie. Well, yeah, we'll be talking soon, Howie. Thanks a lot for calling in and sharing that news. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, take care, Howie. You know, I don't know how I miss these guys. How long have they been doing this? This is their fourth, um, well, this, it'll be the fourth one in May. So so um, they started this about three years ago. It started kind of as um, a bunch of people listening to my Friday night show. Mm -hmm. uh, Howie being one of them and putting together this Facebook page group where uh, everybody kind of joined in and, and and the people from all over the country, actually all over the world now. And, um, you know, and at the time, I think, you know, Bruce was touring. So I, th I think it was the River Tour 2016. So people were meeting each other all over the country. They were flying to different parts of, of the U.S. or Canada, uh, U.S. to go see Bruce's shows or Europe. And um, this little group got bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and Howie came up with the idea of what, what if we did a gathering to get everybody together once a year? You know, so he they started, and of course, Asbury Park's the place you have to do it. And, um, you know, the people in Asbury have been really uh, open and warm to, to it. The Stone Pony, they, they, you know, they let them, they rent out the Stone Pony for the day, you know, and, and they and they pack it in with, with Bruce fans from all over the country. And, uh, you know, and they just hang out, listen to Bruce and share stories and talk. They're basically living on... on they don't have dues, do they? No, no, it's nothing like that. That's what I mean. They're no. they're they're coming in. They're coming in from all over the world to come into Asbury on the weekend to uh, to hang out and celebrate Bruce's music and friendship and all that and and the um, you know like them you know they're pay for their own hotels and all their food and drinks or whatever and then there's I guess there's the a ticket or whatever to the event itself and there's multiple events that go around through the whole weekend. And uh, and that money's going to various charities. Well, you know, it's not every artist who gets an audience that's worthy of him. Yeah, yeah. And Howie, Howie, and 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 Julie actually did win, and his wife Julie did actually win a, an online uh, the Kristen Ann Car Fund to be a guest on my show. So, oh, great. so they did that. So, yeah. So they, you know, they're very involved in making sure the money goes to all the right charities and and. Right on to the to the group for bringing in the Kristen Ann Car Fund this year. It's really great. Thank you. Well, especially this time of year. Yeah. If it's your kid, you think a lot about. It. Yeah. And if if you're me, with I got two gigs of Santa Claus coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's absolutely and right. Memorial Sloan Kettering. That's and, right. And that's. Um. That that is one of the most important highlights of of my of my year, and uh, he just put himself right alongside it. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Let's take a break. Let's uh, let's get another song in here, and we'll get some more calls before we wrap for today. Eight seven 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 the Bruce. If you still want to get in and talk all things Springsteen or Steve Van Zant or charities or it's what we're here to talk about. All things Bruce. Eight seven 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 the Bruce. What do we got, Vinny? Uh, Jason Wildhorse. Yeah, let's do it. All right. 